How can you identify when the Holy Spirit is trying to communicate with you? Have you ever experienced the guidance of the Holy Spirit in your life, but felt uncertain about its direction? Have you found yourself questioning the voice of God due to uncertainty and wondered how you can discern the voice of the Holy Spirit? In this video, we are going to explore three clear signs that indicate the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. Make sure to watch until the end. And before continuing, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel for more uplifting content like this. The Holy Spirit has a vital purpose in your life to guide you, teach you, and align you with the Word of God. His desire is to protect you from errors and deviations. It is essential to know the Holy Spirit, to truly know God, as He gives us understanding of who God is. The Holy Spirit is God, the third person of the Trinity, eternally proceeding from the Father and co-equal with the Father and the Son. He dwells in every true Christian and acts as a counselor who guides us toward the truth. It is also believed that the Holy Spirit grants gifts to believers, as he did in the life of Christ and his disciples, healing the sick, raising the dead, and more. The Holy Spirit is the active presence of God in the world and in the lives of believers. He is a constant source of comfort, help and direction in the midst of difficulties. He provides guidance, strength and support. Above all, the Holy Spirit reveals the mind and will of God. Yes, he has a distinctive voice, but many believers struggle to understand his plans due to the difficulty in discerning his voice among other voices and noises in their lives. To recognize the voice of the Holy Spirit, it is essential to understand that he is not limited to a single form of communication. The Bible shows us that the voice of God can manifest in powerful and majestic ways, Psalm 29, 4-5, but also in gentle and quiet whispers, 1 Kings 19, 11-13. Now that you know this, what are the signs that indicate the Holy Spirit is speaking to you? First, you may experience a restlessness in your spirit, an internal conviction expressed by your conscience. It is like a stop sign put up by the Holy Spirit, indicating you should stop or reconsider your actions. A notable biblical example is when the Holy Spirit forbade Paul to preach in Asia, Acts 16, 6 to 7. This shows that sometimes the Holy Spirit stops us for reasons only God understands, perhaps as a form of protection or to fulfill higher purposes. Second, you may receive confirmation through the Word of God. The Holy Spirit often speaks to us through the Scriptures, illuminating specific passages that bring clarity to our situations. Finally, you may perceive a repetition or persistence in the message you receive. The Holy Spirit may bring the same impression or direction repeatedly, seeking to capture your attention and obedience. It is essential to cultivate an intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit through prayer, Bible reading, and sensitivity to His voice. When we learn to recognize and follow the direction of the Holy Spirit, we open ourselves to experience the fullness and blessing that comes from walking in tune with God. You may be watching this video now and feel a restlessness in your spirit not to go out today. Perhaps you're wondering what might be causing that feeling, but it could be the Holy Spirit trying to capture your attention. It could also be a strong conviction about something. Suddenly you feel that something is not right. All these are indications of the Holy Spirit perhaps trying to protect you from some danger. How many people have lost their lives in car accidents or plane crashes simply because they decided to ignore that restlessness in their spirits not to get into that car or travel that day? Many choose to dismiss these sensations as fleeting emotions or unfounded fears without considering that they might be a warning from the Holy Spirit. One of the clearest signs God uses to capture our attention is the lack of inner peace. As a child of God, the Holy Spirit dwells in you, and an evidence of His presence is the peace He grants you. 
Peace is a state of calm in your spirit. Its absence often indicates the absence of God's guidance in a situation. When that peace is missing, it is a sign to turn to God for direction and clarity. God always works through your inner peace. If it is a step that God does not want you to take, He will remove your peace. You will feel uncomfortable considering taking that step. You may not understand why you feel that way, but suddenly you find yourself restless. God can cause you restlessness when He needs you to intercede or alert you to imminent danger through that discomfort in your spirit. So, if everything seems apparently ready, but your inner peace is absent, it could be a sign from God. Did you know that peace also serves as a channel to increase your spiritual sensitivity? It is like a traffic light indicating when to stop, get ready to go or start a journey. God works through your peace to help you discern His will in the matters of life. One way to know if God is guiding you is to observe how you feel after following His instructions. After obeying, you will no longer experience restlessness, but a sense of restored peace. If you suddenly feel uneasy about a particular business, travel plan or appointment with someone, it could be that God is saying, don't go or I'm preparing you. Do not ignore these signs. It is the Holy Spirit trying to communicate with you to protect and guide you on His path. Dreams are an important means through which the Holy Spirit can communicate with us. Although many Christians have grown up without appreciating their value as a legitimate form of divine guidance. Surprisingly, the Bible teaches us that the coming of the Holy Spirit will inspire new dreams in our lives. In Acts 2.17, God declares, In the last days, God says, I will pour out my Spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. This scripture reveals that dreams can be a manifestation of the Holy Spirit. From now on, do not underestimate the power of dreams as a means through which God can speak to you. However, this does not dismiss the fact that dreams can also originate from non-divine sources. Some may be the product of emotions or experiences of the day and could even be influenced by evil forces. It is crucial to discern and not take dreams lightly, but it is also important to recognize that many come from the work of the Holy Spirit. If we look at the birth and early years of Jesus, we will see how dreams played a crucial role in the lives of Joseph and Mary. A dream led Joseph to stay with Mary, despite her becoming pregnant before marriage. Another dream guided Joseph to flee to Egypt to protect baby Jesus. Thanks to Joseph's obedience, Jesus escaped the massacre of children ordered by Herod. This demonstrates that the Holy Spirit can communicate with us through dreams. Several men in the scriptures were directed by dreams and visions towards notable destinies. One example is Solomon, to whom God appeared in dreams and visions, significantly changing his destiny. Did you know that Abraham received revelation about Israel's captivity and their liberation while he was asleep? Dear brothers and sisters, dreams and visions are prophetic tools through which the Holy Spirit manifests in our lives. If we ignore these means, we could miss important directions for our destiny. Another important sign is the repetition of God's Word. God always finds ways to communicate His ideas to us. His Word is a vital channel through which He shows us His will. You might find yourself thinking about a topic or idea that repeats in your mind, or you might notice biblical references that explain what you have been reflecting on at that moment. You will also observe that God uses various means to speak to you. You might be impacted by a television program, a podcast, or a song that addresses the topic that is troubling you. If this happens, it is likely that God is trying to capture your attention. The Holy Spirit can communicate with you by giving you a direct verse from the Scriptures, and you will notice how that verse takes on a clear meaning for you, even answering specific problems or dilemmas you might be dealing with. 
When you notice that God is sending you any of these signs, do not dismiss them. Ignoring them, especially if they occur repeatedly, could cause you to miss something important that God wants to manifest at this stage of your life. God is always speaking to his children, but the question is, are you paying enough attention to hear him? Are you truly listening? Do you long for God to speak to you? Are you desperate for an answer? Have you prayed, fasted, and done everything possible to hear him, but you are not receiving a response? Is it really that God is not responding, or is it that you are not listening? This often happens because you expect God to communicate in a certain way, but he chooses to respond differently, and thus you miss what he is saying to you. Friend, God cannot be boxed in or predicted. To truly hear God, you need to open your heart and pay attention. This means understanding that God has various ways of communicating, and the Bible teaches us that his ways are not our ways, nor are his thoughts like ours. Moreover, God does not limit himself to acting in a predictable manner. Elijah expected to hear God. He looked towards the fire, thinking God would be in the consuming fire, but he was not. Then came the wind, and he thought perhaps God would be in the wind, but again, he was not. Finally, a gentle and quiet voice came, which was the voice of God. You might have a wrong idea about how God speaks, and that is why you may not be hearing him. God's voice is not always audible or terrifying. It is not limited to spectacular visions and dreams. Sometimes it is that gentle voice in your heart that constantly speaks to you, the direction of your spirit, the counsel of wise people, or even a message in a song or a random quote. These can be ways in which God tries to communicate with you. So, if you are waiting to hear a loud and clear voice before obeying, you might miss what God wants to tell you. You might wait and never hear God in that way. Could it be that distractions are preventing you from hearing God? Distraction is a key tool that the enemy uses to keep you from attentively listening to God. It keeps you busy with superficial activities and thoughts, even while you are in church or during quiet moments, thus avoiding connecting with the voice of God. If you realize that you spend little time waiting and listening in God's presence to hear His voice, it is a clear sign that you have not been truly listening. This lack of listening could be the reason you find yourself falling into deceptions and facing constant confusion in your life. You do not know what decision to make, where to go, or whom to trust, and you feel overwhelmed by the dark clouds surrounding your life. Do you want to learn to listen to the Holy Spirit in your life? Then start today by developing an intimate relationship with Him, and you will experience more of His presence. Listening to God is not complicated, nor is discerning his voice among the many voices competing for your attention. Think about how you recognize your children's voices when they speak to you. You do not need to guess who is speaking. You know them so well that even their silence communicates much to you. You have reached this familiarity through intimacy, spending enough time with them to know their voices, forms, and personalities. So, the question is, have you spent enough time with God? Do you really know Him? It may be difficult for you to hear God or recognize His voice because you do not have an intimate relationship with Him. Perhaps you recite your prayers mechanically in the morning without realizing you are speaking to someone. And once you finish, you rush to continue your day, forgetting that prayer is a two-way conversation. It is not a monologue or a unilateral speech session. The closer you are to a person, the clearer and more audible their voice will be to you. If you are struggling to hear God, it could be a sign that you are keeping your distance. Take time to cultivate a close relationship with God, because when you draw near to Him, His voice becomes clearer and more recognizable in your life. Let us pray together, Almighty and Eternal God, You who created the heavens and the earth, sustainer of life and giver of all good gifts, I come before You with praises and thanksgiving 
for your eternal love and your mercies that are renewed every morning. Lord, I thank you for the invaluable gift of the Holy Spirit who dwells in me and guides me toward your will. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge and confess to you the times I have strayed from your path and ignored the gentle warnings of your Holy Spirit. Forgive me for my sins and failings, and I also forgive from the heart those who have offended me. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I am free from all bitterness and resentment. I reject the confusion and chaos of this world, as well as anything that tries to steer me away from your direction. Holy Spirit, teach me to recognize your indications and nudges that will draw me closer to the will of God. I ask for an increase of wisdom and discernment in my life to make decisions aligned with the kingdom of God. Fill me with your presence so that I can clearly see the doors you open before me and have the courage to walk through them. Father, I extend my heart before you and ask for your blessings in all aspects of my life. I am ready to listen to you. As you told Samuel to say when you called him, today I say the same. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. I rest in your presence. I remain still before you to hear your voice. I will wait for your direction before making important decisions. Make me sensitive to your voice so that I do not confuse it with the many other voices around me. My intimacy with you will make your voice clear and distinctive without a doubt in my ears. Father, remove the distractions that have prevented me from spending time with you. Help me clear my mind to have clarity in receiving your word. I commit to staying in your presence until I know your perfect will for me. I command every spirit of fear, anxiety, and doubt that hinders my surrender to the Holy Spirit to leave. I pray for complete healing in my physical, emotional, and spiritual life. Cover me with your divine protection as I walk through this life. I long for more of your presence, that your spirit always remains with me, enabling me to do great things for you. Lord, I pray for solid wisdom that comes from you, Prince of Peace, and I receive your peace in my life. For those who do not yet recognize your voice, awaken a hunger for your word and a thirst for righteousness in their hearts. Lord, I thank you for your divine healing and constant protection over my life. Thank you for hearing and answering my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you have any prayer requests or need intercession in your life, we encourage you to share your request in the comment section. We are here to support you and join you in prayer for your needs and desires. We firmly believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing and direction according to God's perfect plan for each of us. We invite other believers on this platform and from around the world to join us in this time of intercession. Together, we lift our voices to heaven, trusting in the faithfulness and unfailing love of our Heavenly Father. Although the answers are not always immediate or evident, we have the assurance that God hears our prayers and works according to His wise will. Every request you share will be treated with respect and devotion in our prayer time. We are here to support each other in faith and believe in the transformative power of prayer. May everything we do be for the glory of God. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you at all times. Amen. If you made it this far, I congratulate you. You are one of the few people who have the ability to have so much attention. And so I know you've made it this far. Comment, I'm awake, and I'll greet you personally in the comments. Until next time.